Sup fellow subscribers and YouTubers, Juggalo here, just giving you guys an update of what's going on and a list of bad things to come for me happened again. We had the heart attack that happened to a family member. We had a family member get hurt uh, first day on the job. We had my wife uh, get her hours cut back by 8, so it's only 32 hours instead of 40. And the next thing uh, later, not even a week or two weeks later, the automatic car wash here uh, decided to take away my side driver mirror. So that is completely gone. I already went through the process of getting a price estimate, sending the paperwork to them. Now I'm waiting for that uh, check to come in so I can get that fixed. So a lot of stuff. It seems it keeps on coming, like more bad stuff. I'm like, what? What else can happen that is worse than worse than this? You know what I mean? It just keeps on falling and falling. So whatever. I'm still in a positive attitude. I'm not gonna let things, you know, bring me down and everything like that. So one second, guys. Sorry. So as you guys know, I want to get a uh, excuse me a new computer case. I want to get it powder coated and everything like that. Well, it's going to cost a lot of money. I have, you know, I bought the RAM. I have the CPU, thank you, uh, to my lovely wife, Jamie, for buying it. She got the 3930K for me. Motherboard, you know, hard drive, SSD. I have all that kind of stuff, which is good. But I still need the case. Now, the case is probably going to cost me some money. Uh, probably around six hundred dollars or more just because I needed an accessory for the um, hard drive cage and SSD and I'm not sure if that's included in the price that they want also I need two um, 480 rad horizontal mounts for the case that I want so that adds up the total cost and everything like that what I want to do is bottom loop at the very bottom makes sense right have just the GPU so it would be going um, red slash pump to rad then up to GPU 1 and GPU 2 back to the res I might have more uh, graphics cards I don't know yet but it's a lot of money for graphics cards um, and especially with the new series of graphics cards that are slowly approaching I know uh, AMD their 8 series graphics cards are supposed to be coming out pretty soon so I'm not sure and it looks like my dog is dreaming right now which is shaking the bed sorry about that so that's what I want to do for the bottom and then the top will be CPU chipset then back to uh, my res so that's what I want to do so I'll have two separate loops so that means I need to get two uh, different reses for the MCP 35X slash 355 slash 350 pump but I'm running the 3.5x pump. So I need to get two reses. Now the reses I want, they look pretty badass, but they're very, very expensive. They're probably going to run uh, 80 to a buck 20 for these reses that I want, which is made by Frozen Q. I want something interesting to interact with the color that I picked for um, the powder coat from Prismatic Powders. Again, that's $300. Again, it's just $600 for the case. And I still need, as I said before, GPUs and some other miscellaneous stuff. So it's very expensive for this build that I want. And then on top of that, I want to get my um, sleeving done on my uh, power supply. I want to get my power supply powder coated as well um, because it'll look awesome. I like this uh, kind of color I might have it just black but I think it will be cool to have everything that's in that case match so yeah so I'm still debating on the color that I want for uh, sleeving it might be just straight black um, just to make the color just so your eye I'm thinking for a visual perspective your eye isn't going like from here to here to here to here if that makes sense because if I have black and then I have a green stripe in it your eyes are going to be going around the whole case versus if I have 
uh, just black sleeving will be uniform so you can see everything inside that case. Now I think it would be pretty cool if I could figure out how to wire up some kind of wire to make it look like it's lightning going in it. Um, if anybody knows how to do that please let me know as far as wiring and stuff. I am good with the soldering iron so um, it's um, it would almost essentially be like almost like Christmas lights but I want a solid light um, I'm trying to think. It's almost like EL wire, but I want that to look like it's a lightning strike going in, and then I would have it spread out through everything in the case, which I think will look really awesome because the color that I picked for the prismatic or pris yeah prismatic powders is almost like a spacey kind of thing. So I think it would look really cool in my opinion uh, to have some kind of like lightning effect in there. Uh, I might get in touch with uh, Cyber Druid, the mod god, to see if I can uh, get any ideas from him because I have like a visual of what I want, but it's just the application of putting it into onto paper into real life, if that makes sense, to make the product that I really want. So I think that would really be really cool. Um, sorry for ranting. But uh, the the color I got or not color I got but I would really like to have is um, called Red Explosion. You're going to need a base coat and a top coat. That's why it makes this um, powder coating so expensive is because I'm getting two uh, powders. One is a base and one's the top. Um, I'm going to go uh, through a local uh, powder coater here. Uh, it's a uh, blue flame powder coating here in Colorado. They'll say, or they said, excuse me, They'll charge uh, $95 per coat, which is really cheap, in my opinion. I've asked a, a fellow uh, associate that uh, has dealt with them. They said that he does, or they do really good work and everything like that. No complaints. So I'm going to go through them. Um, case, power supply, accessories. I want all this done in this color. So I might have to get 12 to 15 pounds. So, that, so you're looking at maybe... 400 bucks or more just for the powder itself not even the application process again that's $95 times two so now that I'm done blabbering and blah 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 I'm gonna show you guys the paint that I want um, some people may like it some people will say ill da 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 they'll say stuff that isn't really necessary they'll probably do you know just stuff to say it and yeah but okay, and let me see if I can uh, pop open another window here to see if this will uh, work the way I want to. Okay, it's called Red Explosion. If I haven't said that enough, Red Explosion by Prismatic Powders. Uh, shout out goes to Maximum Mods for telling me about this website. But okay, here it is right here. Oops, sorry. That's the color right here. And then let me see. I want to show that last. But this is the other color right here. This is the rims and everything like that. And you can sort of see the different kinds of uh, colors it can produce and everything like that. It's with a, uh, I think it's with, it says, uh, let me go back here, a red flake. No, an orange flake uh, goes from orange to green, then smaller red uh, metallic flakes. So yeah, it looks pretty cool right here. Okay, then we have another rim right here. This is what this looks like. And they also have one similar to this. It's called Moon Dust, but it's a little finer uh, flake and everything like that. But I really like this kind of flake right here. And then this one right here really shows the depth of the color and everything like that. Like this looks phenomenal in my opinion. I'm really liking, liking the color. It's almost like a spacey theme. That's why... I want to kind of do lightning bolts in the uh, in the case or something. I gotta I gotta figure it out. Like I think it would be really cool to have a lightning bolt flashing or whatever in the case. But it's just me knowing how to do that kind of stuff. I really am not that too savvy as far as schematics and everything like that. If that makes sense. I did take an electronics course back in high school, but. That was back in high school. Jeez, what? Ten years ago. Jesus, I'm old. But anyway, 
that is what's going on. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm almost to 1,200 subscribers. It's awesome. In my opinion, it's completely uh, astonishing to me. I'm surprised. I'm up to 1,196 subscribers. I like to thank everybody who has given me the support um, throughout my, uh, I guess you want to say, YouTube hobby slash career here. I know some of you have been here since day one. If you just subscribe, I'm just as appreciative of you subscribing and sticking with me and everything like that. So again, thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, grass is on. You know, the greener side or the other side is greener. Whatever you say, it, getting tongue tied and everything like that. I'm writing a resume so I can get a better job uh, for tier one desk support. Uh, have people at where I work at saying, hey, you are too smart to be a security officer right now. You should be doing tier one desk support as far as what you can do and what you did in the Navy. Just in general, you should do it. So I was like, okay, I'll take it if I can. So I'm writing up a resume. I'm just, oh, uh, my mind's going to 500 miles an hour, it seems. But anyways, guys, sorry for the long video. Sorry for uh, rambling if that bothered you. But thank you especially for the support. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys, as always, have a great day. Bye.